Are you thinking about making the move to Southeast Michigan and don't know where to start? Well, you're in luck because I've compiled a list of the top 10 best cities to live in the area. Whether you're looking for great schools, outdoor activities, or a vibrant nightlife, I've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and let's explore the best places to call home in Southeast Michigan. Starting off with city number one, we have Ann Arbor, home to the University of Michigan, one of the best public universities in the country. But Ann Arbor isn't just for college students. It's also a great place to raise a family thanks to its excellent schools, world-class healthcare, and low crime rates. Plus, Ann Arbor has a thriving art scene with multiple museums, theaters, and music venues. And let's not forget the food. Ann Arbor is a foodie paradise with everything from fine dining to food trucks and plenty of locally sourced ingredients. This city is about 29 square miles in size with a population of around 122,000 people. So it's a little dense to say the least. Ann Arbor Charter Township, on the other hand, covers about 16.88 square miles with a population of around 5,000 people. Taking a look at the average home prices, you can see the three-year progression of home prices as the entire MLS is in blue at just over $288,000. The city of Ann Arbor in green is at just over $505,000, which was a 12% increase year over year, and Ann Arbor Township in yellow is over $726,000, which was a 7.9% increase year over year. Switching gears to city number two, Birmingham. A charming and affluent city known for its high-end shopping and dining, but don't let the fancy stores and restaurants fool you. Birmingham is also a great place for families with top-rated schools, beautiful parks, and a strong sense of community. And if you're a history buff, you'll appreciate Birmingham's historic architecture, including many homes from the 1920s and the 1930s. The city of Birmingham is about 4.8 square miles in size, with a population of around 22,000 people. Again, this shows the three-year progression with the whole MLS in blue and Birmingham in yellow at an average sale price of just over $804,000, which was a 6.4% increase year over year. Now you're looking for a city with a little bit more energy, check out city number three, Royal Oak. It's known for its lively downtown area and with dozens of restaurants, bars, and entertainment venues. But Royal Oak is more than just a party town. It also has great schools, beautiful parks, and a diverse population. And if you're into craft beer, you'll love Royal Oak's many breweries and tap rooms. The city of Royal Oak is about 11.79 square miles in size with a population of just under 60,000 people. On the other hand, Royal Oak Charter Township is about 0.55 square miles with a population of around 2,500 people. Taking a look at the average sale price in both of these areas, the city of Royal Oak in yellow averages a sale price of just over $352,000 with an 8.2% increase year over year. And Royal Oak Township in green comes in much lower at just over $166,000, which was a 33% increase year over year. Coming into city four on this list is Rochester, a picturesque city with a charming downtown Town area. Rochester is a great place for families with highly rated schools and plenty of community events throughout the year. It's also home to multiple parks, including the beautiful Paint Creek Trail, a popular spot for hiking and biking. And if you're a fan of art, don't miss the Art and Apples Festival, one of Michigan's largest juried fine art fairs. The city of Rochester is 3.83 square miles in size with a population of around 13,000 people. Taking a look at the average home sale price, Rochester in yellow comes in at just over $462,000, a 7.8% increase year over year. If you're looking for a small town feel with big city amenities, check out city number five, Plymouth. This historic city has a charming downtown area with unique shops and restaurants and plenty of community events like the Plymouth Ice Festival and Art in the Park. But Plymouth isn't just about fun and games, it also has highly rated schools, beautiful parks, and a thriving business business community. The city of Plymouth is around 2.22 square miles in size with a population of around 9,500 people. Plymouth Township, on the other hand, is about 16 square miles in size with a population of around 28,000 people. Comparing these two areas with average sale price, Plymouth Township in yellow comes in at just over $417,000 with a decrease of 1.6% year over year, while the city of Plymouth in green has a price tag of $444,775, an 8.4% increase year over year. 
Moving on to city number six, we have Gross Point, a collection of five distinct neighborhoods along the shores of Lake St. Clair. Gross Point is known for its beautiful homes, many of which date back to the early 1900s. It's also home to multiple parks and beaches, as well as highly rated schools and a strong sense of community. And if you're into sports, don't miss the Gross Point Little League, one of the best youth baseball programs in the country. Gross Point is about 2.25 square miles in size with a population of around 5,700 people. Look at the average sale price, Gross Point comes in around $475,000, which was a 17.8% increase year over year. Now, if you're a business professional looking for a great city to live in, check out city number seven, Troy. This city is home to several major corporations as well as some of the best shopping and dining options in the area. But Troy isn't all work and no play. It also has highly rated schools, beautiful parks, and a strong sense of community like most of the cities I'm talking about on this list. And if you're a music lover, don't miss the Troy Summer Concert Series featuring free concerts every Thursday evening in the summer. Troy, Michigan covers 33.63 square miles with a population of around 88,000 people. Take a look at the home prices. Troy sits at just over $438,000, which was a 12.3% increase year over year. Next up is city number eight, Novi, a growing city with plenty of amenities for restaurants. Novi is home to some of the best shopping in the area, including 12 Oaks Mall and the outdoor shopping center, Fountain Walk. But Novi is more than just a shopping destination. It also has highly rated schools, beautiful parks, and a diverse population. The city of Novi covers over 31 square miles with a population of around 67,000 people. On the other hand, Novi Township covers 0.11 square miles with a population of around 150 people. With that tiny coverage, you'll see how it affects the real estate prices. Taking a look at the city of Novi in green, you can see a steady progression up to just over $486,000, which was a 5.5% increase year over year. Whereas the township of Novi shows the sporadic stair-step pattern hitting a $368,000 average, which was a 33.3% decrease year over year, and this could have been the result of people overspending for a few houses at first and people selling their homes at a loss. Moving on to city number nine, Ferndale, a city with a strong sense of community, like I've said time and time again, and plenty of personality. Ferndale is known for its colorful downtown area with dozens of unique shops and restaurants. It's also home to a thriving art scene with multiple theaters and music venues too. The city is oozing with culture and diversity and is considered one of the most welcoming cities in Michigan and among the top 10 best cities to live for first-time home buyers in the country. The city of Ferndale covers about 3.88 square miles in size with a population of around 20,000 people. The average sale price comes in at just over $259,000, which was a 7.7% increase year over year as it follows a similar trajectory as the MLS as a whole, which is in blue. Last but not least, coming in at number 10, Northville, a small town with a big heart. Northville is known for its historic homes and beautiful downtown area with unique shops and restaurants. It's also home to multiple parks and a highly rated school district. And if you're into history, don't miss Mill Race Village, a living history museum that takes visitors back to the 1800s. Northville, Michigan covers 2.06 square miles with a population of around 6,200 people. On the other hand, Northville Township covers 16.5 square miles with a population of just under 30,000 people. Taking a look at the average sale price, you can see this chart is all over the place because it doesn't just include Northville and Northville Township prices, it includes the county prices because Northville sits between Wayne and Oakland County as well. The city of Northville in Oakland County is in blue, Northville Township in Wayne is in yellow, the city of Northville in Wayne is green, and the city of Northville in Oakland County is in red. The price ranges from $451,000 to $880,000, and of course, with the red trajectory, it was the result of several large sales that increased the average sale price in the area within the last couple months or so. So there you have it, the top 10 best cities to live in Southeast Michigan. Whether you're a young professional, a growing family, or a retiree, there's a city on this list that's perfect for you. If you want to explore further into more of these mentioned cities, I'll link several videos I made in the description so you can watch them after this one. These cities were not in any particular order, but rather just a list of popular cities to live in Southeast Michigan. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in the area, don't hesitate to reach out anytime and I would be happy to be your go-to resource. If you got value from this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, tap that subscribe button, and hit that little bell so you never miss out on an upload. Until next time.